So I'm gonna make a pork. This is just a half a butt roast. It's only, yeah, almost three pounds. Um, we're gonna put it in the slow cooker tomorrow. It's gonna be warm and I work all day. So I'm gonna put it, everything tonight in the slow cooker, put it in the refrigerator. My husband will start it in the morning. Um, we're going to a music venue tomorrow night that's in downtown. It's just local, local bands and stuff. So I wanted something quick and easy for when I get home that I can literally eat something before we go. I'm on a six day span right now because I'm off for the holidays and yeah, I don't typically go anywhere. So you'll just pull this out of the packaging. My crock pot, yes, I have a crock pot liner. I do not like cleaning up barbecue. It's got the uh, net on there. I'll take that off tomorrow. So this is called, we're going to use up barbecue sauce that I already have. Um, this is a marinade type thing that we use for, um, we've used it for chicken. It was in my marinade video. I can put that down below for the recipe itself. But basically it was a quarter cup barbecue and right now, I have about three or four barbecue sauces sitting in my refrigerator. So we're gonna try to get rid of some. Yeah, that's yeah, more than a quarter, but it's it's fine. I just want some of these bottles out. Called for a quarter cup honey. I am not gonna make it that sweet. We do not like sweet like that. I do, my husband and boys do not. So it called for a quarter cup. I'm gonna downplay it just a little bit. It called for either vinegar or lemon juice. I'm out of fresh lemons and I don't like to use concentrate in this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of vinegar. I like vinegar anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and mix just to see the consistency. Still a little, a little thick, but it'll be fine calls for garlic powder, but I'm using real because I like garlic, and yes, I like a lot. And the last thing is chili powder. It's about a teaspoon. And then just mix this. I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper just directly on top. Try to make my life a little easier. Here we go again. Someone had told me that I could adjust this and I did and it is a little bit, it's working a little bit easier. So thank you for that. going to pour this on top. And that is it. That's what's nice about crock pot meals. And I like crock pot meals year round. The ease of it in the winter, the ease of it and the fact that it doesn't heat my house up. Um, we're in Indiana and contrary to popular belief, it is very hot and humid here. <laughs> So needless to say, yeah, I don't try to turn my stove or oven on all that much in the summer. It has been cooler so far this year, so it's been nice. But I just thought this would be something really easy. I thought I had a child coming tomorrow to help re-drywall a bathroom. Evidently, we're now doing that 4th of July weekend. I guess that's so that I could be home for it. So needless to say, I already had planned this. We may eat on it for a few days. So I switched this to one of our shallow bowls. It's just easier. But it's like almost 90 today and it hasn't been above, it hasn't been above 80 in weeks. 
so or just right at 80. It has been crazy. This time of year, it is usually really, really hot. So this ended up being the absolute perfect thing. And my crock pot, I need a new one and I haven't wanted to get it. You know, one more thing. We have two of them that are these big ones. Kind of his and hers, so he can take stuff to work. And mine cooks at a really, really high temp. So this is absolutely beautifully shreddable. You can't ask for better. This is just shredding. And all we're going to do, since I have made, put it in with the marinade, I'm just going to shred it. And then everybody can make their own sandwich and top it with whatever barbecue sauce they want. I have like, I went through three bottles yesterday. But I still have like three more bottles. Because everybody has the barbecue sauce they like. Look how nice that is. It is so nice and it's just shredding. So with barbecue, I like coleslaw on my sandwich. I know it's a regional thing. Um, so I'm just gonna make some homemade. My husband would really prefer it if I didn't. And I bought the Marzetti's slaw mix, slaw dressing. It's so expensive anymore. I hate to say it that way, but it is. So I just put some mayo. It's a, it's a basic. It's nothing special. Only a little bit of sugar. And that's the difference with um, my husband and I on this. He likes it sweeter than I do. Salt. My enemy, the pepper grinder. See, it works now better. And the biggest container of vinegar I can find. I'll just mix it up. Probably shouldn't have used this, but oh well. I've got french fries in the air fryer, just a handful, because they're just for me. I'm the only one eating right now. So what happens when you don't have to cook for the kids anymore? You don't always have to cook for people. It's kind of nice. Nice little break after all these years. This probably isn't enough, but. And then the bag of slaw and start mixing it up. I like it with a little bit of crunch. So my husband will love it tonight and I will like it right now. Just dress the slaw all there is to it. The vinegar will start breaking everything down. You might think you don't have enough sauce or dressing in here. And you probably do because I'm going to cover this, put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes and probably add the rest of that coleslaw in here and it'll be ready to go. That easy and for the cost of what we went out to eat when we were in Greenville a few months ago and went to Sticky Fingers, which I will say was absolutely delicious and more food than I could actually eat. This is good. This gets rid of my craving. For one, I'm not in Greenville, so I can't go anyways. But this gets rid of that I want barbecue craving and it will feed your whole family.
So this is a really quick, easy meal. Um, we've been eating this for years. Only one of my boys doesn't like it. He doesn't live here anymore. It's been the theme of things lately. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to use both. I don't think so. I think I'm only going to use the one, maybe half of the other. These peppers need to be used, and that was the whole reason I'm making this. I, it's usually two peppers. These are really little. I mean, yeah, I have small hands, and these are little. So I think I'm going to use all three peppers. I've got a little bit of onion left, so I'm going to put another onion. Um, and then you make a sauce to put over the top of it, and you cook this in the sheet pan for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It's cool again today after the storms rolled through here in Indiana, so perfect day to use my oven and get rid of stuff. Salt, pepper. I do the stone ground mustard. Um, you can do a spicy mustard and you can do a Dijon. Balsamic, Italian seasoning, and some more garlic. I've got four potatoes that also needed used in the Instapot, um, and I'm just going to make a quick mashed potato with it. Very simple, very easy. So, I'm tired of always, I, I'm trying to cut back on how much I cook, but using a smaller bowl for this will just make a bigger mess. So, someone gave me that advice to try cooking with smaller pans and bowls. I agree with that. My fear is, I already pick up bowls that are not big enough to do what I need to do, so I didn't want to start there. So probably kill, got an overkill. Take your vinegar. I'm going to do probably, I'm going to be generous and say about a quarter cup, maybe just a little bit less. A big thing of mustard, and like I said, we like the stone ground in this. It just gives it an extra flavor. Um, maybe three tablespoons garlic because we like garlic we don't even have to add that I'd say maybe two three cloves a teaspoon or so of the Italian seasoning I've been making this for years so I kind of eyeball it sorry I'm trying to give you measurements and I'll have them down below and pepper salt. Now I still, as always, there's sausage in this. Sausage can be salty. The one I use typically isn't too salty. Ooh, that's potent. Just get it a, a good mix and then we're going to cut up all the vegetables and the sausage and stir it in. All right, I ended up adding one more onion. We like onions. In fact, I'm gonna cut back and I'm only gonna do the one packet of sausage on this. I'd rather have the vegetables. My husband kind of feels the same way. This is really good. So I'm just cutting the onions. Cut them in however you want, but I'm just doing them in half. And I'm throwing them in that bowl. to that. I'm just going to, it's one of those things, I'm just going to eyeball it on the veggies just to see where we're at. As I said, my husband and I will eat this, but right now I've cooked a couple of meals, so tomorrow night's going to be a leftover night, and I still have one more day of work, off one day, back two more, and then I am finally off for five days. I... <laughs> I've had to work six days in a row, and I know that doesn't sound like that big of a deal. I typically, before I ended up having to go back to working five days a week, I've been working four 10-hour shifts for the last couple of years. Right now, we're short-staffed, so I picked up the shifts. 
and it's a lot for me because I'm still working close to the 10 hours every day. That's the other reason I just want some leftovers in the refrigerator. And this is something I will eat leftover. So I'm just gonna get the peppers cooked, cut up, and I'll come back. All right, I cut back. So two onions, I've got a half left, and I still have a pepper left. And I think I'm just gonna do the one sausage. We have so much left over. We're gonna do a leftover night tomorrow night, and I feel like I'm just not gonna, maybe we won't have this leftover as well. And maybe this is just the right amount. Move. My dog is tall, so he can look onto the counters. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to look to see what was in the bowl. It's like having a bad toddler all the time. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be plenty. I've got a sheet pan already over here with foil and my oven is preheating to 400. You could make this in the air fryer. I have a, it's called a Gamora. I believe is how you say it, but it's the oven style. If I had the kind with the basket, I would definitely put this in it. Not sure how it would work in the other one. Runaway food. Like I said, we're going to serve this over mashed potatoes, which I have in my Instapot, and I'm going to serve it with some sourdough toast, and we're going to call that dinner. Easy, simple, and easy on the budget. I've got a half sheet pan, and this is just going to go right on top. this sauce out. When I have run out of uh, balsamic, I've used red wine vinegar in this as well. I can normally fill this pan. This is crazy to me. I know this is the right amount, but my head keeps looking at me going, Michelle, what are you doing? This won't feed you. I need to stop listening to my head sometimes. All right, this is all laid out. Normally I can't do this because of the fact that I pack this so full of food. This should get the nice caramelization on it. Normally I end up steaming it a little bit. And when it's all done, it really does look delicious. Serve this over rice or mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are our favorite. So this is the chicken Mexican casserole I've made since the kids were little. Um, most of the boys liked it. I had one that doesn't like sour cream, referred to it as devil's cream until I figured out that as long as he didn't see it going in it, he'd eat it. Most of the time I told him it had Philadelphia cream cheese in it. He loves that. I, I, there's no words. Anyways, you know, little kids are picky. This calls for cheese, chips. The best thing to do is I would always have a bag of chips that they didn't finish, so this is how I would get rid of them. 
I am halving the recipe, but I will put the full ingredients down below. Um, just with the two boys, they said they didn't want to eat this for the next two or three nights. I get that. So cheese, taco seasoning, I'm only gonna use about a half a pack. Sour cream, I've already cooked up two chicken breasts and diced them. You could also do a half rotisserie chicken. Black beans, for the purposes of the video, I picked up cream of chicken soup, Rotel, and the chips. So, in the bowl, and remember, I'm halving this so we don't end up with so much. I found, after making this a million times, get your soup and get that in there first. And I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to dirty up a second spoon. Big surprise. All right. And get your tomatoes in there. Do not drain. There's a reason for it. Yes, it's going to look a little watery. You're about to add in the taco seasoning, so you want this to mix in here. You don't have to. It'll make it thicker. But this is just how I've always made it. That half, like I said, I'm doing a half. It was always interesting to see which of the boys would like something and which ones wouldn't. It was never, ever what I thought it would be. Now add in black beans. This was one of those. This came to dinner. Came to came to came together very, very quickly. So if I had gone to the grocery store that day, I could throw it on the table. There's the chicken. I'm weird. I do not like chicken to be cooked and then sit in the refrigerator. I know. Weird. Sometimes in casseroles I don't mind it. But just to eat it that way, I'm not a fan. Now you could do a half a rotisserie chicken in the full recipe and that would work. And you'd still have leftovers. And you'd still have a half a chicken left over to use. I'm really mixing the words. Now, I've always added some cheese to this. I shred my own. It's just cheaper that way. And I feel like it's a lot better. It melts better. Like I said, this should be a 9 by 13. It's not. You're gonna take your chips, and crunch them in the bag. I don't know if I need that much, so I'm not going to. But my boys were always notorious for eating about a half a bag of these. and then tell me they were stale, even though I don't really think they were stale. So this was always my favorite thing to do when the boys had bags of chips open. And it always seemed like they had multiple bags. Add half your mixture. Spread this out. This is a deep dish, um, eight by eight. It also has a lid, and that's kind of the other reason I did it this way. I wanted something with a lid. A couple of my other casserole dishes don't have it. And you're supposed to put a layer of cheese in between, so I'm not gonna go as heavy since I mixed it in. You could also skip this. You'll never know it's not there. Repeat the layers. If you didn't have the chips and you've got flour tortillas, you could put this in between the flour tortillas. This is also really good for wrap in flour tortillas. 
and stick in the uh, air fryer and make a taquito out of it. My group likes Mexican food, so we have a lot of Mexican recipes. Mexican recipes. We also like to go out to Mexican restaurants. All right, top with the rest. for this one. Top with cheese, and you're going to bake this for 30 minutes at 350. I serve it with usually just a side of corn, a side of hominy, fruit, whatever works. But just real simple, real easy, and it really does taste pretty good. There you go, the Mexican casserole when it comes out. Kind of pretty on the side. I can guarantee you they will eat this and there won't be any leftovers. With my luck, they'll cut this into four pieces.